this is just going to be a video about sort of UI UX mainly just about sort of why sort of all UI sort of looks the same and I'm talking about UI as in menus and front pages and interface so if I click start here we get this grid this grids everywhere so let me sort of get to the grid why why do grids exist everywhere so if I draw a square this is like how interfaces used to be that you can think of them like a shop window if you want and you would have like if there was something for sale it would appear there or it would be a banner it was thought of like an actual single uh, shop window so you might have a sale banner up here you might have uh, an icon for a new object or something you can see this with um, a pin. Old Dota. Uh, so here you can see it's treated like a window. It's been separated into separate things, but it's still a singular window. If not um, grids. So if I type in go for data main menu, you can see it now. Now it's separated into modules. Now, what these modules allow you to do and why they're everywhere is they allow you to place information. So, say um, this one's time, just the current time, and then next to it you can put sort of sponsored or uh, you can sort of integrate advertising or integrate sponsored content directly next to um, useful information so rather than having a single panel where there's not a um, there's not a cohesive structuring to the um, presentation now there's a sort of a modality of rectangles next to each other and they they sort of have the implication that they're all equal, that they're all sort of useful tools. But here, if you can see on my start bar, I've got something, some Dolby access. Like I've got an ad, I've got an ad here to play a game. I've got an ad here. I've got um, something about emails. It integrates, and there's an ad there. It integrates, um, it sort of passes like, it integrates advertising content and sponsored content into utility so it sort of it's a, like a pseudo-official app interface so you can see um, on if I if I go to the Xbox Xbox I really shouldn't have had this camera You can see the grids here. Excellent for content. Look at how many slots they have to sell. You can think of this like um, a single shop window only has so much advertising space on it. But if you um, if you think of it more like Harrods, you can have multiple shop windows displaying singularly focused elements. So rather than having one massive window where you might only you know, you can't have 12 pop-ups on in a window advertising stuff, but if your pop-up are framed as like apps, like they have, um, they have like games you haven't even purchased on your home screen, that sort of stuff. Xbox interface 360, you see here we get, so this is like, this isn't quite that, this is a smoother version of the original, which of course is absolutely gorgeous in every way. Whereas this one, it this is layered. It has, it's it's you know it's almost like a PC operating system, where we have different levels of interaction which are separated via tabs, and these tabs have sort of themed, uh, themed, um, themed either commands or content so you've got your marketplace is separate from your exit's live profile which is separate from your media which is separate from your settings when you get into a bit more of the 
closer to the modern day one, you can see how everything's everything's getting merged together. It's blurring the lines between what you own, what you don't own, what you need to buy, what you're like legally allowed to get for free. Here you can see that as well. So that's why, and so commonly in UX design, it's not UX, it's just like interface design. People, uh, so say in an app like this, this is a phone screen, even internally at the company, uh, you know, even internally developers will go, well, this bit of the screen here is the most valuable, the banner. That's what everyone's going to see. So we need, so this is the most expensive. And then we have uh, perhaps some more ads slotted down here like this. I say ads, they could be purchases, they could be upgrades, they could be premium content, they could be anything. They could be linked to videos, but the, they're all treated as this is their value. What's, um, what's our output from this real estate? It's treated like it's like transactional UI design. And the bottom banner again isn't uh, isn't valuable. It well, isn't really very valuable who gets down there and um, who's going to scroll all the way down for it anyway. This is like the daily deals. This is the weekly deals. This is the big bonuses. This is the sort of procedurally generated, um, not, or, you know, like uh, big data generated adverts for you at the top. And then here, are the sort of more regular ones and the reason why it's like that is because it's again it's like a shop window and you've got your items down here and you've got a big banner saying sale or 10 percent off or something that's the concept and the concept is you have multiple of these windows on a single window so it um it conflates content with advertising and advertising with utility so that was my my rambling. I hope you enjoyed that. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe for more um, for more uh, more videos.